In this video, I'll be showing you some major improvements we have done to the activity post form in BuddyBoss platform. As we prepare for BuddyBoss theme 2.0, one of our areas of focus is to improve the experience when creating new activity posts, because we know the activity feed is one of the most used areas of the site for many communities. This update is available for download today. We're releasing it now to help us prepare for the upcoming BuddyBoss theme 2.0, which has designs that depend on this feature being rolled out first in BuddyBoss platform. And with that, let's jump in. The first thing you'll notice when you click into the editor to post an update is that it now opens in this really big modal, giving you a ton of screen real estate to write content, see link previews, and to upload media. Since launching BuddyBoss platform, we've added a ton of features to the activity post form, including live link previews. which are much nicer to preview in a big modal window. This bigger interface has also allowed us to create a nicer experience for controlling who can see the post. Right now, it's set to public. Let's click this button to change it. And now we are presented with a very easy to understand interface for selecting who can see the post. And now with each option also displaying an icon and a description to explain how that privacy level works. I can even post it into a group. And from here, I can pick from one of my groups. If I'm in a lot of groups, I could use this new search tool to narrow it down. I'll select Innovation Club and then Save. And now we can see the post will be published into the Innovation Club group. So let's go ahead and post it. And this is what it looks like when published with our nice link preview and posted into the group. And of course, we also have the ability to attach photos, videos, documents, and animated GIFs. If I click on one of these media icons, for example, to attach a video, the modal opens with the video icon automatically selected and automatically revealing the video upload area. So let's go ahead and upload some videos. I have these two videos on my desktop. Let's just drag and drop them into the uploader. And you can see that we've improved the video upload experience as well. You may also notice that we've added a clear visual separation between the media icons and these other icons that are related to the text area. For the text area icons, first we have our text formatting icon. Clicking this reveals our formatting options. So for example, I could type, I am loving this new post form. And let's give it some emphasis. I'll make the word loving in bold. And I could even list some reasons why I like it. And then you may notice this brand new dedicated at mention button added to make it more intuitive to mention members. So let's say I want to mention someone here. I can click the icon and it brings up a dropdown where I can select from my connections to mention someone in the post. And I can still type at to bring up the dropdown, but this dedicated button really makes the feature more discoverable. And then of course, I could still add emojis. Let's go ahead and post this and see how it looks. We can see that Julie Lawrence was mentioned in the post and we've got our videos displaying nicely. And then let me show you one more thing. Let's click to edit the activity post that we just created. And you can see we're now using our new modal when editing old activity posts as well. Let's change the privacy. And I'll click to update the post. We're very excited to release this feature. We know that for many site owners, the activity post form is the main entry point for their members to create content in their communities. So the experience really needs to be great, and we think you'll really enjoy what we've done.